Hello and welcome back to another video and today it is my match day vlog of Ebbsfleet versus Wrexham in the National League, a huge playoff game. So make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe if you're new, we're on the road to 5k, hopefully by the end of the season, so make sure you do subscribe and yeah, let's get straight into it. So Ebbsfleet versus Wrexham, Ebbsfleet got a 2-0-0 draw on Tuesday against Halifax, really should have won that game, would have been in the playoffs, but that's gone now. Um, three wins and one draw from the last four games is pretty, pretty solid. I'm going to need to keep it up if we want to get in those playoffs. 62 points. We're probably going to need to get 76, 78, around there to get in. Um, Wrexham, on the other hand, they're in a bit of trouble at the moment. They're not. They're probably going to, they're easily going to get in the playoffs. They're on 72 points. Um, but they want to get in that top three, and it doesn't look like they're going to happen. And they're in poor form. Um, lost three out of their four. And one of those, they won and won against uh, Mason, and only scored one goal. They don't, they don't, can, they don't score a lot. But they don't concede a lot either. So whoever gets the first goal today, I think it's going to be crucial. Um, I can see us just nicking it. Let, a little bit of luck, uh, like we did against Maidstone. Just a little bit of luck. A little bit more quality um, in the front of the final of third. Hopefully goes Yugwa, get another goal. Cheeky just heading one in or getting something on it and getting us a goal. Um, I do think Rex will bring quite a lot today. I think about 300, 400. Uh, if they're in a little bit better form, probably a few more. Um, but it's a huge game today. Hopefully a good attendance from Fleet because... If we don't win today, I think the playoffs are over because, you know, it then just puts it real to real tough for the last couple of games. Again, as I said, Wrexham, then against Gay said, these are the two important ones. Um, these are two playoff sides. We've got to win both of them, I think, or draw one. or, or we got, we just got to win today. Hopefully we win. I'm going to go for a one win. Cheeky with an 85th minute winner. Hopefully. Come on, you Reds. Up the fleet. Huge game today. Come on, you Reds. See you at Stamford Road.
mercy for me. Alright, football just really doesn't make sense. I don't know how. <laughs> After all the stuff going on before time, no warming up. We've been beating Wrexham 3 0. It's absolutely mental. <laughs> we can actually still go up. Actually, scenes. Um, who's got a third one? 
Cheap. Cheap. Two for cheap. Two for cheap. And, and then an own goal as well. Yeah, absolutely buzzing. Uh, yeah, we're talking about. I'm playing well, I don't know if it's that happening. Yeah. I, don't know. I didn't really vote for Epsom because I think they're just a team that's good at home. But you know, no, nothing takes away that. That was brilliant. Oh well, yeah, absolutely packed. Yeah. Up three. Three, two. We love you, Epsom. Three, two. Big money, that's why. They got one of the biggest budgets. Who's that? Chesterfield. We've got two yellow cards in this half, I haven't seen them. So. I think, I think goes is quality striker. He ain't. Wait, Halifax have conceded a goal at home. No. Uh, yeah! One night for Nashville! Night for Nashville!
he's back in, he's back in. Offside. Four, three, three. Oh, Jackie King! Oh, good. Oh, Gozi!
the people want to know. Shall we tell them? Where we are? Where we come from? We are the army. The mighty, mighty army. Gary Hill from army. Fleet for Wrexham two up the non-league players refuse to play warm up um, due to the thing that went round. I'm sure there'll be stuff coming out about the about in the coming days. That is so stupid and so weird. I'll probably have to do a video about just that bit piece of paper alone. But fair play to the players. We're probably receiving that news only hours before just to go out there and prove to the fans that and probably play for. Roles at other clubs, um, and they really did show just really class. I think Wrexham were awful, to be honest. They were really poor uh, for a side up there. I, I don't want to say it again, but it's happening again. This they're they're really poor, and they really are struggling. I think they in that first half we dominated them. We haven't really played that well, um, but we showed up in that first half. We dominated them. We got goals. Uh, the second half they did improve Wrexham fair play to, and they got a few goals. Didn't have to do much for them. But then we just played him out and goes you go, what a finish, you know. Great pass and play, bag San Graham opens him up, great bit, of, great bit of skill. And, you know, it was just oh, just overall, just real class, contrasting emotion, pretty worried before the game. And I think the fans, everyone got behind it. I think the main stand, I think there's a video, uh, everyone stands up in the main stand, that rarely ever happens. Um, and it just, yeah, I think everyone was behind the team today. And it was, um, it was good to see uh, what is going to happen about the players and, over the next coming weeks, we'll have to see. I'll probably do a video on in the week or next week. Some probably not going to go to Gateshead. Um, but yeah, what a win! Um, just fair play to the players. Fair play to them. They're probably not probably not going to get paid, um, but they're showing up, and it's just incredible uh, what they how they played today. And yeah, so yeah, make sure you leave a like on the video. Um, subscribe if you do. Let me know what you think if you were at the game and you saw the piece of paper or, or the statement or about what I've put it on my Instagram as well. What you think of that? Uh, what you think of the game as a whole? So yeah, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Up the fleet. This club is mental. Love you. Come on. See you later.